leaving the drive-in this morning. Here's where we camped. Definitely the last ones to leave and it's like not even seven, it's like 7.30 so. Yeah. It is day 102. Last night we camped at the drive-in. Got here really early. Oh, sorry. Oh, we got here really early last night and we're hanging out forever. And then um, when the food opened up, we did that. And it was good. It's not free anymore. It's five dollars, but I definitely will pay five dollars to get to watch a movie. If you drive in here, it's like thirteen dollars for an adult. So it was like a deal to get to camp here. And we have to go try to get a hitch out, which I don't know how easy this is going to be because we've seen a lot of people out here kind of for a while. So yeah, we might be in line behind some other people trying to hitch. But we're really in no rush. We have three days of hiking to get like 44 miles. So we're trying to do two bigger days and then Nero into a hotel that Bad Bat reserved. All right, so Bad Bat and I tried hitching for like maybe 30 seconds and got picked up real fast. Um, I think it's a spot that a lot of people hitch out of, so like people who drive there on their way to work and stuff in the morning, they kind of just know. I don't know, but super nice guy picked us up. Thankful for that, took us back to the trail. It was only like three miles away, I think. And now we're gonna get back hiking. Not sure how far we're gonna go today. I it's gonna be a good week. I'm not trying to do any crazy miles. I think everyone's a little beat up from all the rocks. Just need a little like bit of smaller miles here. Um, it's also gonna be incredibly hot. Like highs in the 90s coming up here. And so just <laughs> try not to, you know, have a terrible time. But I very much enjoyed the movie last night. Um, I only watched the first one, which was The Little Mermaid. I went to bed for the second one. Um, but I like fell asleep in the middle of The Little Mermaid, so like twice. I would say I watched at least over half of it, but a lot of it I was asleep for, which is okay. Needed that rest. <laughs> Still super fun. Right, even though the driving is over, there's still more to look forward to. I looked forward to the driving for like such a long time, but now I have a hotel book. Um, so I'm to tonight and tomorrow night of camping and then we'll be in a hotel where we can shower and do laundry. And that'll be like a week without showering and stuff, so it's going to feel pretty good. Especially because it's been so hot. Also the Trailside Zoo is coming up. Um, the Lemon Squeezer, the New York Border. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff. We were actually in New York last night. We've kind of been back and forth on the border, but we'll be officially leaving New Jersey and going into New York soon for good. So that is exciting, um, and I might be meeting up with my like previous hiking buddy Ellie because I got behind her, well, I got ahead of her, then I got behind her, um, I got off and then now she's getting off for a bit and so I think I'm going back on. She'll be within a day's worth of hiking of me, so maybe I'll see her again, who knows. Uh, so exciting things are in the future. <laughs> Go oh, bad bat. It's me. How did you do this? I like don't even know. I like kinda wedged myself between the crack. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. Yay, bad bat. Ooh. It into New York. Well we've been along the border for a while, but we're officially leaving New Jersey for the last time. So it's really exciting. Welcome to New York indeed. Welcome to New York. It has indeed it's been, been waiting, waiting for, for you. So we just climbed up this big rock thing and now we're about to go up this, but they built a ladder in it for us. <laughs> right. It's been kind of a difficult um, time hiking ever since crossing into New York. It was a lot of like big exposed rock um, that was just kind of hard to climb up and over. And it was really, really sunny and really, really hot. But we've kind of dipped down off the side of the ridge now and we're in the shade, so it feels really good. And in about a quarter mile, there's a little like one tenth of a mile side trail or something you can take to get off and it um takes you to do some hot dog stand and creamery or something so we're gonna go there and see if we can buy like a soda I might get ice cream I don't know I'm meeting dad back there so that is the excitement here right now it's been like a pretty good day it's just like really hot and we got a bit of a later start because stayed up late last night leaving the drive-in and then you know had to pack up and hit drop this morning so um and we were in no rush either because our bags weighed a ton because we had access to your good grocery store yesterday and so we're buying like all the things we haven't been able to get lately because we've been resupplying at like 
gas stations and stuff. So that was really good. I got so much fruit. And I had like a whole can of corn and tomato. And it was just delicious sitting there waiting for the movie. And I packed out some of my movie theater popcorn because I had a whole bunch extra. And so I've been snacking on that as the day goes on. Ice cream, here I come. Back up on these big rocks again after our ice cream break. Just came up this big whole thing. Crazy. My leg, like while I was filming. It was bad, bad eating her food. Yeah. Just saw another bear. It was down in here. I was like down around the corner of the trail. And it was in like the thick part of the weeds. I was jamming out my music with my headphones in. But now. It was there until like I kind of heard it move and it was looking at me and then it took off like running. It was really loud, running the other direction. It was really big too. It was like twice the size of the one I saw the other day. So now we're going to listen to music out loud and sing and try to scare them away. Good morning. Today is day 103. Um, last night we stayed at just some campsite that wasn't even listed on Far Out. There was just like a comment on there by a water source that said there was like like space for 10 tons or something. So, Babette and I kind of all day were planning on making it there. And um, when we got there, the group we were with like two nights ago was there. So that was cool to have like some friends there to hang out with. And also, it was kind of near a road, so we were happy to not be alone. And I had just seen a bear like two miles prior, so it was just fun and felt good to have people around. Um, Today, we're trying to make it to this shelter that you can see the New York City skyline from. The shelter itself is like a half mile off trail, but like I think we all kind of want to see it, so um, that is the goal. And then make today like a 20 mile day. The issue is the Palisades Interstate crossing is today, and that the, reg the regular AT just goes like across it, and you have to like dodge traffic and stuff um and then there's on far out shows blue blaze around it that will take you over an overpass and like it's a lot safer than crossing is what they say that adds length and it also goes past where the shelter is so we have to backtrack almost a mile on the AT to get back to the shelter so we're not really sure also we're not sure if um the official AT right now is the side trail, if it is the actual interstate crossing. So we're just gonna wait, see when we get there. I'm not really like dying to do the crazy road crossing. So even if the AT, like the white blazes, do show to continue and go across the street, if this really looks scary, I'm gonna take the little extra long side trail around it. Um, I had a really scary road crossing experience in Front Royal where I like it was raining and there was a lot of traffic and it was like I was just needing to like get on and commit and so I stepped on and I slipped and fell I like face planted in the highway with my pack over my head and everything and I had to get up super fast because there was cars coming and like after that experience I'm just terrified of road crossing so who knows what is actually gonna happen. Toasted marshmallows. Cool. <laughs> There's a lot of rocks here and it's really steep. There's bad that way up there. Um, we've been going up and down it just all day. And it's really slippery too because there's like leaves. Ow, dang. I'm about to cross a really busy street, but this one has a bridge, thankfully. Yay. We're arriving at the lemon squeezer. Crazy. Tight. Just went through the lemon squeezer, and what's more intense than the lemon squeezer that no one talks about is the like rock wall you have to climb right after it. It's like straight up and down. There's like nowhere to grab. It's like rock climbing, but with a giant backpack. Luckily, there's people around, so for both the lemon squeezer and the rock wall, I handed my pack up and then did it without my backpack. So that was good. New York is so pretty. It's so difficult. This spot right here is super nice. 
but then you're like scrambling up exposed rocks and it's just so steep so quite humbling here it's a road and we're gonna walk on it to a picnic area and I think it's by lake we're gonna take a nice long break there they have water which I'm completely out of and possibly vending machines with ice cream in it so it's much needed the last couple miles beat me up I'm so tired all right so it's the afternoon now I stopped and took a long break I'm by the lake there the vending machines for ice cream don't work so that was kind of sad but I did sit in the shade and have lunch drink a ton and fill my water bottles and you weren't allowed to swim the swimming beach was closed um, there was like a secret little rocky area um, you could swim at so yeah but um now I'm hiking out with a lot of water on me because I got really thirsty on the way to that lake and um, the water sources lately have just not been great. Um, I'm not really sure. We're trying to make it to that shelter you can see the New York City skyline from. It's kind of iffy because it's like the trail's been rerouted away from it. So it's just, we're going to see where this ends up. <laughs> There's a city. That's a, it has a flash around top. I feel like it's a phone yeah. tower. 1,400 miles. Woo! Yeah! Probably can't even see because it's so sunny. But um, we did end up crossing the road instead of being the detour. Which, mainly because we wanted to get to the shelter and the shelter wasn't really on the detour. So, um, the road was fine. We all kind of crossed in a group and I didn't really even have to wait. I've definitely crossed roads that are a lot scarier than this one. Um, apparently someone died crossing this road. A year or two ago and that's why it was closed but I've definitely been more scared crossing roads than I was crossing this one but, um, and now I'm just doing this big climb with a bunch of water I picked up and we're gonna head to that shelter that um, you can see the New York City skyline from so hopefully that's cool it's just been an incredibly hot day you can probably see I'm just dripping and sweat um, but yeah tomorrow we have a near own it's gonna be a good day look how pretty this is you I don't know if you can see because it's super sunny but it's all green. I think the like trees are finally dark now and not like the super bright green. They're on like their dark summer green. It's really pretty. The New York City skyline is over there somewhere. You can barely see the lights in the distance. Uh, well, so I'd have to go back and see. This one's up close, aren't it? Kind of like right under. It's all daddy. You've been, you've been a stupid piece of shit, dog. Get out of here. Please call it out.